request for a closing argument. Can you make a brief closing argument? Yes. Thank you. Your Honor, I believe the petitioner has adequately shown a substantial number of members who are substantially and adversely uh, affected by this proposed pipeline. It is uh, clearly, per se, adversely affecting the uh, substantial interests of a uh, substantial number of owners by simply crossing on their property. Uh, oh, we've also we heard from a, um, a gentleman who purchased property uh, for organic farming. We heard of a, 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 a cow that fell into a, a sinkhole demonstrating <coughs> that this area is, is a very, very sensitive area. And I believe the petitioner has adequately showed that the Department of Environmental Protection has uh, negligently, negligently performed its duty uh, to see that there are reasonable assurances to the state with regard to the, the water quality and the standards applicable to water quality for surface waters and wetlands. And this is, there are considerable wetlands here. The length of this pipe from the Florida Georgia border down to Orlando, uh, the reclamation of wetlands is going to be eight acres scattered here and there. That is uh, so minor, so minor. And the risks that are posed by this natural gas line, 36 inches wide, unprecedented in our state, requires an elevated scrutiny by the department, and that scrutiny wasn't applied. Uh, it requires elevated scrutiny just for including the Santa Fe Swanee Rivers, which are outstanding Florida waters, and that wasn't applied. By testimony of Lisa Prathers, she treated this project as they would any other project. Uh, the expert that came in there today, Mr. Means, this is the first pipeline he's ever worked on. So Lisa Prather said she relied on her cars team, and we've heard from one member of the cars team, and this is the first pipeline he's worked on in his 19 years with the department. I think the people of Florida expect that the Department of Environmental Protection is doing more than what they're doing here, as the evidence has shown. Uh, we had seen that, aside from the cars mitigation plan, the department accepted it uh, as, as presented. Uh, there, was a, there was a mitigation plan, and they said, yeah, it looks good. Um, we've heard testimony that the ultimate decision maker, Lisa Prathers, um, hadn't even uh, read the entire application, didn't reach out to uh, uh, folks who said they were adversely affected by the proposed plan, uh, did not consider fishing or recreational value or marine productivity in the vicinity, and did not uh, consider the uh, adverse effect navigation or the flow of water would cause with regard to erosion or shoaling. In fact, the ultimate decision maker did not even know what grouting was, uh, never heard of grouting, did not know grouting was involved with sinkhole activity, and did not know that the pipeline crossed other pipelines. Now, I know the court has raised the question of what's so important about the crossing. I would suggest what's important is that the ultimate decision maker does not even know that that's occurring. And it's occurring at a rate that's unprecedented uh, as the evidence has shown, by other pipes that cross each other in our state. In fact, the gentleman, um, uh, I believe he was Mr. Um, Dixon, I don't apologize if it's wrong, but one of the witnesses did say that he had worked on one crossing and it was a 45-foot length of pipe and it crossed at the beginning and nowhere else. It would seem to me where the unusual crossings occurred that the ultimate decision maker was unaware of it, I don't know how that could have been missed. Uh, so I feel the department was negligent in that it knew or should have known of, of such uh, material and uh, adverse, at least uh, potentially adverse situations. Uh, we, we did not discuss safety, uh, except to the extent that the rebuttal witness spoke at depth, at length in safety to the um, prejudice of the petitioner who was uh, stopped dead in petitioner's tracks each time safety came up. And I uh, would suggest that the petitioner has uh, suffered undue prejudice uh, by that testimony, uh, although we uh, trust the court uh, uh, will uh, give it its uh, um, uh, um, will weigh it, uh, to the best of the court's ability uh, that it can, having heard it. Uh, I believe that standing has been established. 
we see that there are members, they're paying members. They're very active members. They swim, they fish, they boat, they hike, they canoe. They have photographs of, uh, of themselves that they take great pride in. Uh, we've, we've heard from homeowners who grew up on Suwannee County land, whose family <coughs> owned Suwannee County land even as far back as 120 years. So uh, certainly uh, uh, there's, there's interest here to be protected. We have uh, ashes uh, buried on, on these lands that um, indeed would be adversely affected by, by the presence of the pipe. And certainly the petitioner has standing in the numerosity of the folks in Hamilton and Suwannee County and uh, others who are on the uh, Santa Fe River. And I would ask the court to uh, take all those matters into its consideration. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Foster. Closing from the other parties? Any other matter to place on the record before the hearing is closed? Hearing nothing, we are now closed. Thank you very much.